happy Thanksgiving. Um, well, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm sure you're sitting in the traffic right now or somewhere waiting in the airport and you're anxious, you wanted to go home. Great, this is why you are watching my Judgment Detox because I am going to share with you today um, different ways of how you can approach things. <clears throat> so there are a total of seven different ways of how we can see things, how we can show up in the world every single day. Now, most of, you, most of us probably only know there are two types of energy. And when you think about it, everything is energy. Everything is compressed of energy. And when I talk about energy, sometimes people think I'm like, wait a minute, are you a woo-woo person? Why are you talking about energy? Well, it's not, en well, in a way, it is energy. So we're all energy entity. If you think about it, and if you break down to our cell cellular level, um, each one of us is compressed of, you know, the, the nuclear, the proton, the neutron, and all of that. That's what makes up a human, uh, our DNA, everything. So everything that you touch, the wood, the uh, trees and the flowers that you see and everything is energy. So in a sense, scientifically, energy is energy. And if you're a woo-woo person, then you will probably relate to what I'm going to share with you even more. Um, so energy, there are two types of energy. And the first energy is called catabolic energy. Catabolic energy is something that's very destructive, that's draining you. So remember earlier in the day, you were probably sitting in your office and you're watching your clock and it's ticking, it's going by very slow and you just feel exhausted. You just wanna go home. And all these um, routines and all these to-do lists just keep showing up and the week, is, the week is shorter, but your work is not shorter, so you feel really really agitated in every single phone call there's a problem that you have to resolve so that in itself is catabolic energy and many people understand it as being the negative energy whatever you want to call it catabolic draining negative energy it's all the same there's another type of energy which is the anabolic energy and it's more associated with something that builds you and something that's very soothing and you feel good, you feel relaxed, you feel calm, you feel safe. And that's the energy that lifts you up and builds you up every single day. That is called anabolic energy. So sometimes you can call it positive energy. So in addition to those two types of energy, the anabolic and catabolic energy, energy is further broken down into seven different levels. And which, in a way, is how you can show up on an everyday basis. Not just being positive energy, not just being negative energy. Maybe your mother-in-law showing up in a uh, in couple of hours now. She may carry a lot of catabolic energy. But in addition to the catabolic energy, you can identify exactly which level she is at. So here are the seven level of energy. The first level or the catabolic, the most catabolic energy is called the victim energy. And this is when your thoughts, your belief, your emotion and your perception, everything works against you. It, it's not serving you well. Or you stop doing something or you feel that there are certain aspects of your life it's not working out. And you're just sitting home and you feel sorry for yourself and hopefully maybe you have enough energy to lift yourself up, but you know what, let me just crawl back into my bed. That is the victim energy. Level two energy is more like a fighting energy. So I call it the fighter. So when you are competing with others, when you are blaming and when you're judging them, when you need to be right, and when you feel like if you don't fight, you're gonna lose and you don't want to be hurt. So when you're in that conflict energy, that is a fighter energy, a level two energy. Maybe that's your mother-in-law who's walking through that door and she's like constantly picking on you. See, it's all your fault. It's your fault why that tower just fell over onto the floor. Yep, that's your fault. Moving on to level three energy. Level three is more rationalization. Um, when you start rationalizing, you interpret situation and other people's action in the way that makes you feel better about yourself and also about others. 
And it's kind of like a coping mechanism that we all have during stressful situation. And at this level, you you're still judging people, but you tolerate them and just try to incorporate them and just try to make peace with them. Yeah, I can't stand you, but there's no way I'm going to get rid of you for the next two days. So you know what? I'm gonna freaking tolerate you right now. So at level three. You're, uh, you start to manipulate the situation a little bit so that you can actually be in an advantage. So the goal is actually you want to win, and hopefully the other person will lose. So that is the level three energy. Level four energy is the caregiver energy. Um, you start focusing on lifting others, and you're operating on on the level where um, <clears throat> you want to fix everything. And just trying to make it better. So when it's involving your your relatives, you have more heart for them. You feel bad for them, you know, being spending their holiday alone. So you you invite them into your home, and you're still judging them. I mean, poor them, right? They so you're you're more willing to accommodate them, and because you believe that in order, that's the best way for other people to. Um, to to be right now, to be with you. So you're a caregiver. Here, let me hug you. Level five is the opportunistic, and when you are being opportunistic, you see possibility, you see opportunity, and you see you see it everywhere. So a lot of entrepreneur, when I tell them, well, this is the type of energy you probably have a lot to associate. They're like all happy, and because. As an entrepreneur, you do want to see possibility. You do want to see opportunity everywhere, and you want to create that win-win situation for your business so that you can more money, make more money. Make sense? Sure. Now, because that you don't believe in winning per se, you believe in winning. Everybody wins. So you win, I win, and. There you, therefore, you're more opportunistic, and you're more about the possibility and seeing the light、uh, at the end of the tunnel.、Um, so, entrepreneur, I have a lot of these level five energy. Level six、uh, energy is more of the visionary energy. It's the experience of life and vis- as in a visionary way, so that you're connected to everyone and and everything else is just you're not judging anything. We're all in this together, and it means that waking up every day just smiling to be alive, and it means that living in a state of ah,、oh, and wow, everything is so beautiful. And perhaps you wake up and you open your bedroom door, and there you go. There's your mom or there's your mother-in-law, and you love it. So in other words, at level six energy, life itself is just an opportunity. And all the experiences are all valuable, and even those、um, sometimes that can be perceived as painful or bad, you still kind of embrace it with joy and happiness. Moving on to the next level and the last level, the highest level at the and ana- most anabolic level is the creator level, or the level seven. When you have level seven energy, you create, you observe, and you experience life. All at the same time, there is no fear, there's no judgment, or there's no concern, and there's absolute passion for everything and all there is that the world has to offer. And a lot of time, when people experience a level seven energy, they feel more、uh, creative.、Um, they have a lot of brilliant ideas that comes out, and they can make something out of nothing, like magic. Poof. So. Your homework today is actually to answer this question. I want you to take a moment and think about, and maybe you can replay the message that I just shared, and think about how much, what percent of catabolic energy do you carry on a daily basis, and what percent of anabolic energy do you carry on a daily basis? How would you rate yourself, and how do you think other Are rating you on that same scale, from zero to one hundred. How much of catabolic energy do you think others think that you carry, and how much of the anabolic do people think that you carry? Where would you see that? And if you like, you can definitely reach out to me, and you can download a 
very detailed description of what the seven level energy is from my website by going to elevatelifecoaching.org and you can take home all these explanations of different type of energy and so perhaps next time when you're in a situation you'll be able to observe and identify exactly which level of energy you're on and you'll be you'll come up with solution faster so um, I'd love to hear you from you and so go visit my website or drop me a line leave me a comment and also follow me on Elevate Life Coach see you tomorrow